Hi, I'm Rebecca Brand, and I just got a brand new clothes drying rack made by Willex, and this is a review, and at the end of the video, I'll show you how to install it. I had that whole wall with nothing on it. This is just what I needed for my laundry room because I always do my delicates and they just can't go in my dryer. So I'm able to hang up right here at a comfortable height because I designed it to fit on some blank space I had in my laundry room. And I've always needed some place to hang up my delicates and things I don't want to go into the dryer. It makes it so fast for me to get up my laundry. And a lot of times, if you have babies at home, you don't want this to go in the dryer. Some of their clothes are so delicate and precious. And I also like to do my workout wear, which can be neoprene and other things that just can't hit that hot dryer. So that goes up here too. And lingerie and maybe some unmentionables. The rack is really strong. It'll hold up to 60 pounds. The materials are really sturdy and durable. They're very high quality, made with stainless steel and also polycarbonate. There are three levels of adjustability. So if you want it less than 39 inches, you can make it like that. I got another one for outside too. I chose the same comfortable height for me to hang things on, made with stainless steel and also polycarbonate. And it's tall enough that it allows me to hang pants and long dresses. It's really great for linens and sheets and pillowcases and blankets. Anything you want to dry. It'll hold up to 60 pounds. It is so beautiful to bring in the fresh air from outside into my clothes when they're drying. So I wanted two racks. Let me show you how easy it is to install. I'm putting my gloves on because you're going to need gloves. It's always a good idea whenever you do construction to wear work gloves. Using a half inch drill bit, I pre-drilled holes in the wall to receive this molly bolt because it's gonna go in there because this is a drywall, so it doesn't have a stud behind it. On this area over here, there is a stud, so I don't need a molly bolt. It goes right into a piece of wood. In the kit, you get an anchor bolt that's made for masonry, but I don't have masonry. I have drywall, so I had to get a molly bolt. For my stud, I can use what comes in the kit, and this is a screw to go into the wood with a washer. That's gonna be great for my stud in my wall. I had chose a height that would be comfortable for me to hang the hangers on, and this is it. I'd also use a level because I wanted it to be level after it's hung. This is the bracket that comes in the kit. It's already pre-assembled like this. You need to put your molly bolt in, so I've already threaded it through. So I was squeezing it together and I'm pushing it through the hole. And I put my finger in the top of the screw head and I push it in, just like that. And you do the second one on the bottom, push it in the hole and push down on the screw head. And it goes all the way in. Now we wanna make sure it's opened up in the back like an umbrella. Yes. So I pull up the screw, give it some pressure, and then I'm twisting it into the wall. Then it's starting to get a little tighter. And as you're pulling it this way and twisting it, it's gonna get a little tighter. You're making progress. When it gets close to the wall, finish it up with a Phillips head screwdriver. There, it's tight. And then finish the top just the same. So I'd had a little play in it, but I wanna make sure it's level. And now I see it's level. So now I'm gonna finish tightening it up. And then do the top, just there. And now the other side. This screw is the one that goes straight into the wood. There we go. Now let's do the bottom. I'm gonna line up my level again before I do the bottom one because it's already pretty tight. So now with the level, let's see where it's gonna be. There. And then using your Phillips head screwdriver, it goes right into the wall. That was easy. Now time for the rack. So pull it out. <laughs> You're gonna get eight rods that look like this and you put them together and you twist once it's inside. And there you have it. There's one rod. So we're putting one end cap on one side and press it down so it looks like that. So now it's the fun part. You're gonna put the rod in and thread it through. Whee! <laughs> and on this side, it's gonna go in and I'm gonna put the other end cap on it. Dunchum! And we got three more to do with three more end caps. These have them on, so they're gonna go in from this side to the other side. Well, here's the first one, end cap. I love it when it's so fun to put things together. I used to like Tinker Toys when I was a kid. And here's the second one, all the way through to the other side, and end cap time. <laughs> and time for the fourth rod. 
clip through and thread it through the other side. In cap time! And the in caps are so simple. It just goes in like that. Because the in caps will keep it, if it's got some play, from coming out of the sockets. And once you like your happy spot, take a Phillips head, because now you're going to tighten this right here so they don't have any play in them. And it's great because it'll collapse like that. So you can push it in if you're not using it. But personally, I like it out because I like to store things on top of it in my laundry room. I can never have enough storage. <laughs> so I hope you're as excited as I am about my Wellex drying rack. It's the simple things in life that make me so happy. Click the link below to get yours too. And let's talk, let's talk household things here. What are your household issues? I've got a lot, but it's really nice when it's easy to install and it's really strong for this kind of practical thing in life that you need. I'm Rebecca Brand, subscribe to my channel and ring the subscription bell to get notified of my next video. And let's keep making great videos in life, like ones to make your life a lot easier with your new drying rack. Ha, ha, ha.